all right um, today's video is going to be about stage analysis um, so the stocks uh, move in uh, stocks have cycled right they, they run up they go sideways and then they go down then they sometimes start turning up again so basically there are four stages in a stock's life so number one is stage one so uh, this is basically um, when the stocks uh, not going anywhere you know it's kind of um, fell off people that are down there may be different reasons poor earnings basically you know uh, one of the top reasons but i do not go too much into fundamentals uh, i just uh, try to stick with the what's happening on the chart and i, I try to trade off um, uh, off charts so so stage one is when you know a stock is at the bottom it's, it's not going anywhere so um, and then you know at some point um, the earnings start you know turning up a company starts making profit and uh, the and that starts to show up on in the price section of the stock and the stock starts to move up so uh, when you're looking at this picture so you, you're just seeing this on the left side so then your stock you know builds on this uh, bottoming base and then moves up so at this stage your moving averages start to turn up and your price is steadily moving up and then it will you know um, when when on its way up stocks generally build four bases so so this is stage one this is stage two and stage two has generally you know one two three and fourth so it, it kind of failed to you know make that proper fourth base and you know kind of um, move up from there so th this is the uh, detailed analysis of stage two when when a stock is in uh, a clear uptrend so you don't want to buy later stage bases so anything beyond the third stage or fourth um, um, like some of the the most successful traders investors they have said that uh, uh, the fourth stage basis uh, like uh, Will O'Neill said that uh, 80 85 percent of uh, them should fail so th there are there are different reasons for uh, um, the fourth stage basis not to work so number one is you see like how far away the stock since it broke out on volume from the first base it moved 100 percent up to that second base then it moved you know 500 percent by the time it reaches this uh, four stage base the stock is already up some 1200 percent right so um so there are number of things um so you want to count the number of bases whenever you see a stock in uptrend before you buy it so when a stock is uh, breaking out of the first base you know so the trend is still you know down there's a lot of overhead supply or some people refer to these as the resistance zones right and the buying has to be really really strong to you know burn through all this um, supply so for the stock to be uh, successful you want this uh, supply to be at least 18 months away and uh, so th there's another um, rule as well you know so this um, you see stock break out on you know um, in, in December so to the December of um, you know next year it will be um, one year somewhere around here and so in June May or June it would be 18 months so that's uh, another one of the things that uh, stocks um, generally trend upwards for 18 months so so that's another factor your stock in fourth um, fourth base and it's, it's past 18 months so you, you don't want to touch it uh, if you have a position you can hold and you know wait for some signals to uh, to sell or keep a tight stop loss so anyways um, 
we have already talked about you know uh, number of bases the 18 month line and then you know the picture starts to change so you see how when the stock was trending up it was basically you know kind of um, staying above this 10 week moving average line so this is a 10 week and this is a 40 week uh, and on daily it corresponds to you know 50 day moving average and this is this corresponds to 200 day moving average so um, we are going to stick with the weekly um, chart because the bases uh, and the trending lines upwards is very clear the daily chart has too much noise um, but you can always switch to daily and you know uh, to make your entries uh, uh, more uh, um, you know just improve your timing and you know get a better price uh, by switching to daily or sometimes even hourly um, so once the stocks you know kind of uh, it broke out of stage one, went to stage two, and then it comes to stage three. Um, you know, when stock, you know, repeatedly, there, there are at least three attempts to make a new high, right? So one, two, and a third time it, it couldn't even, you know, come up then. And another thing which starts to change is uh, the stock price starts to live below the 10 week moving average line or um, the 50 day moving average line you can say and you will see hard breaks through this line on on heavy volume that's that's the key and uh, not only that so at this point of time the stocks are breaking through you know the 40 week uh, moving average line or uh, the 200 day moving average and uh, Later on, I'll show you another example. These moving averages also starts to rolling over. You see how the 10 week moving averages rolled down and then the um, 40 week moving averages starts to roll down. And then the stock, you know, kind of just struggles and bangs its head again and again against the uh, against these moving averages and it's not able to, you know, kind of uh, come above them that would be your stage four i can just move back so this was stage four you know this was the ipo back in 2017 um you know stock tried to you know um set up and instead of trending upwards it you know started breaking down and you can see how this wedging action uh, it tries to go and it comes down you know it bangs its head against this 40 week uh, moving average line then again uh, moves kind of a beer flag you know drops down and then so almost exact opposite of what happens when a stock is in stage two and trending up so it happens in stage four when trending down you see how it's respecting that uh, 10 week line and you know kind of rallies into that moving average drops down rallies into that drops down and in here it goes uh, past that but there's no buy signal right because even if you know when stock was here so you were seeing this right so you you don't want to you know even think about buying a stock which looks like this because uh, there's a clear downtrend right so the institutions are selling the stock your 40 week moving average line or 200 day moving average line is just rolled down you know stocks are just um, being smoked at this point and you have 10 week moving averages trending down so uh, even if this did happen in real time when you were here so this is by no means the buy signal right um, you will know when the buy signal appears so we continue to you know kind of go then again even if uh, we were here so this this is not a tight or nice price action this is just chaos around here and then again it kind of goes bangs its head against you know the 40 week moving every line and uh, drops down again so about stage four just like uh, the stage two when the stock is trending up uh, remember how i said there are generally four bases in a, in a raging bull market in a very very strong market if the averages are still trending up and you know stock is uh, uh, posting a strong earnings again and again the base count can go up five six seven 
really right but but don't chase it down there and those will be you know smaller quick bases and stock will be moving really really quickly from there but uh, in vast majority of the cases if you study there will be three or four bases right so similarly when a stock is coming down you know once the downtrend is established so let's say somewhere here um so it will be coming down in let's say three um three legs down so it comes down number one you know goes sideways kind of number two and then it wedges up and drops so the three legs down occasionally if there's extreme weakness in the market or in the stock it may go down a fourth time which it did slightly and then eventually you know it is start sellers are exhausted you know most of the people has thrown out the towel you know uh, and why not right because uh, uh, in here one you know stock try to go up stock was down 93 percent so um even if somebody you know stubbornly tried to hold on to the stock they would probably receive a margin call and the broker will have to close that trade so anyways uh, stock came down you know kind of the sellers were exhausted and then it finally started to you know tighten up and set up um so now you know about you know the different stages so stage one stage two stage three and stage four or here and the stock is a probably and potentially you know going into stage four because it's starting to come in below those uh, moving averages the key point here is that you only want to buy stock when the stock is in an uptrend you know in stage two because that's where you have the maximum chance of uh, succeeding you know um, in buying the stock and that it will move up without hitting a stop loss and you want to short you know in um, in stage four similarly so in stage two stocks moving up you want to buy and in stage four the stocks coming down and you want to short it right so now let's just quickly look at some other example so uh, there's um, cf so this kind of seasonal stock so it did the same thing you know it was coming down it, um, it set up a base around uh, same time started moving up one kind of base on base smaller you know quick bases so two you know third one four time it just failed and it's already um, potentially in you know kind of stage four here so you know, it's below the moving averages and the moving average the 40 week and the uh, 10 week uh, they're already rolled down um, another one would be uh, d-dog a relatively new issue um, the ipo came in you know the the raging bull market of 2020 came stock did not set up you know properly just quickly moved up try to build a base um you know so th this was probably you know the strength of the market and uh, and this is a, also a good example like uh, how the stages um, uh, may not be very very clear cut you know sometimes and uh, so yeah it goes up you know then the try uh, you know is failing to make uh, uh, new highs repeatedly and then it just you know transitions into stage four and at this point of time the stock is in stage four it's, uh, it's uh, coming down at you know at some point in future it will probably you know set up a base move you know um go sideways for some time and then finally you know set and uh, transfer, uh, transition to stage two um, another example would be um, mRNA you know uh, Moderna so stage one right um, sets up a base moves into stage two the moving averages pointing upwards stays mostly above that 10 week moving average line builds a kind of base on base right 
goes up moving averages start to roll down you know big breaks to the downside failure to make new high transitions comes into stage four and this stock is not anymore in stage four so it's you see it's clearly going sideways so now it's in stage one so if it's if it can set up and start trending you know it will um, go up in uh, you know in stage two but it's it can still you know kind of this may tone as you know uh, consolidation and it can you know uh, drop down but the price action will um, dictate and you will know like in which direction the stock is going right so that's uh, that's all about uh, you know stage analysis um, i hope you can you know find this video useful and uh, improve your timing and stock picking you know um, significantly